Imagine you are hiking in a forest and you suddenly come across a snake. Instinctively, you immediately take measures to move away from the snake and this reaction is completely automatic and fast. You don't stop to kind of analyze the situation rationally, you just immediately take action. This is your system one at work. You see, we have two modes of thinking called systems which are explained very well in Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. System 1, which is used in many situations, is intuitive, fast and automatic. On the other hand, we have System 2, which is controlled, slow and logical. For example, if I give you a non-trivial math problem and I ask you to solve it, you sit down and think about how to solve it. This is an example of your System 2 at work. While System 1 is fast and based on intuition, System 2 is slower and more calculated. Now, each of these two systems has its own advantages and disadvantages. System 1 is very efficient. It is fast and effortless. So, for example, consider professional soccer players and the way they handle the ball. You'll notice they make a lot of decisions when they are playing the game and do so very quickly and efficiently. But if you ask them to give you a theory of how they decide to handle the ball, where they are going to kick the ball, and so on, they probably wouldn't know what to say. But they have practiced and learned how to play the game. It comes naturally and automatically to them. So in situations like that, System 1 is very useful. Although useful, System 1 does come with its own set of flaws. In particular, it suffers from some biases. As an example, the anchoring bias is a well-known one. Let's say you go to the store and you see an item that costs $100. Now imagine the exact same scenario, the exact same store and the exact same item, but the only difference now is that the item was originally listed at $200, but now is on sale for $100. You are more likely to buy the item this time at 50% off because the original price of $200 acts as an anchor. Compared to $200, $100 is a more attractive price. System 1 can be quite helpful, but it is important to be mindful of such flaws and biases. However, in terms of statistical and probabilistic thinking, which is the main topic of this class, System 1 is not very accurate. For a simple example, consider this. I toss a coin five times, and I ask you which of the following outcomes is more likely. The first outcome is that I observe five heads in a row, and the other outcome is that I observe a heads, then tails, heads, heads, and another tails, okay? Now, my question for you would be, which one is more likely? If you have not been trained in probability, it is likely that you will say the second one is more likely because it looks more random. However, the truth is that they are both equally likely because the probability of both of them is 1 over 32. But again, in our minds, the second one looks more random to us. A situation like this one is a good example of when to use your system too. Your answer to this question is not time sensitive or crucial, allowing you to slow down and use this more rational approach. In this sense, this also demonstrates system 2's disadvantage. It takes more time than system 1 and therefore is not applicable to every situation. Of course, we will discuss these concepts further when we deal with how to compute probabilities. But there are two main points to take away from this simple example. First, our intuitive thinking about randomness sometimes suffers from flaws and fallacies. Secondly, the good news here is that if we are trained in thinking about things rationally, we can be more aware of these issues and improve our statistical thinking. By improving our statistical thinking, we can improve our decision making under uncertainties in general, which is one of the main goals of this course. To summarize, we all have two decision making systems. System 1 is intuitive and quick and System 2 is more logical and slow. Therefore, we can say as a general rule that if you are making an important high stakes decision with significant consequences and time is not an issue, it is much better to slow down and use System 2. Ensure that you are not just automatically making a decision based solely on intuition, but that you reason the situation out rationally and slowly. Thank you for watching.